What's poppin' to everybody? It's your boy. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl shit. What's poppin' to everybody? It's the one and only Jay, back at it again with another cooking video, and today we're making one of my favorite dishes, vegetable red curry, brought to you none other than the home cook extraordinaire herself, Belle's Kitchen. Make sure you follow her. She's responsible for this recipe right here. But anywho, I actually made this video last year, but you know, I'm a learning cook. So as I'm going, I'm finding easier and quicker ways to get to the final product, and that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. So let's get started. Okay, ladies, let's get in formation. First things first, we're gonna boil some water. It's not that hard. We're putting four cups in this pot right here and putting it on high. Now, what I'm also doing is getting my other pan ready so I can steam these vegetables. Isn't this pan so cute? I took it from my mama house. But anyways, let's go ahead and put these vegetables in here. I honestly don't have a measurement for this. It was just on my discretion. You can also put other things in here like tofu, potatoes, but honestly, it's completely up to you. But right now, we're about to stick to these vegetables. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on here and let this sit for about five to 10 minutes. I don't wanna overcook them. It's gonna be in the pot with the curry. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of rinsed rice. If you are not washing your rice, don't tell nobody that. So now we're gonna go ahead and move that around a little bit. Don't stop, stir that rice. Mm, mm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of salt. You see how I use my measuring spoon? I'm learning, baby. My ancestors told me to stop. So now you're gonna put your burner on low to medium heat and put the lid on top of that thing just like that and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, now let me go ahead and check on these goddamn vegetables here. Yes, okay, they look good and steamed. So now I'm gonna sprinkle about a tablespoon of adobo seasoning. Word on the street was that y'all canceled them because they were racist, but that was last year, it's none of my business. So go ahead and grab that non-stick pan and we're gonna drizzle about a tablespoon of olive oil in that thing, just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and add about two tablespoons of minced garlic. Go ahead and spread it around the pan a little bit because we want that to be evenly sauteed. Ooh, not me about to burn it on candid camera. Anyways, go ahead and add the rest of your ginger in there and let that cook for a couple minutes. So now we're gonna go ahead and add two cans of our authentic red curry paste. You heard that right, authentic. We ain't doing that fake flu gazy from Publix. If you buying that, you playing yourself. So it's been about 20 minutes, let's check on this rice. And period, your rice cooker ain't got nothing on me, baby. Get you a man that can cook. All right, anyways, let's go ahead and add the rest of this coconut milk. So I added about two cans. You can get coconut milk from any supermarket. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this whisk and break up the solidified cream that was at the top of the can. You'll end up with a consistency and color just like this. Yes, ma'am, ski. So I let the curry simmer on the burner for a little bit because I wanted those seasonings and spices to talk to each other and get real activated. And now you can go ahead and add the rest of those vegetables that you had sitting on the side and you wanna get them things real wet, all acquainted with the curry. Give those vegetables a good old baptism, child. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and throw the lid on this bad boy, let it simmer for a couple more minutes. When that's done, we're gonna take it and put it off to the side and get ready to plate, which should look something like this. Don't you wish your curry was hot like me, ew. And just like that, that honestly should have taken you maybe 20 to 30 minutes if you weren't like me ripping and running around trying to move lighting and actually get things ready. So with that being said, I actually have not eaten at all today and I am starving. So let's do it. This is how I made it in real time in real life. This is curry, baby. We did that. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow, Melanie, you did it again. Thank you so much for being a part of this and sharing this recipe with me. Thank y'all for tuning in. Until next time, it's your boy Jay, and it's been another episode of Wow Is That Vegan.